Charlie Shamo here. Once again, I'm out uh, flying my multi rotors, all quads today. That's what quad masters do, right? Anyway, today we are going to take a closer look and fly, of course, the new Flycar 550, of course, available at fpvstyle.com. This frame only. Uh, so, I got the frame from fpvstyle.com and I prepared it with my own power combo, spinning 11 inch insane pitch 65 propellers and uh, running super x of course motors are 660 kv now let's take a look at this quadcopter and you will simply start falling in love with it number one you see widespread front arms that means no propellers in the view battery at the back side that means totally balancing the cg for you uh, longer arms on the rear and of course don't forget it's completely foldable this arm will go back this one there and these two will come inside and to fold all you need to do is just remove one two three and four screws and it will fold after removing four screws she folds down to just this size so easily you can put it in a bag now hold on let's not stop on it aluminum motor mounts which provide you ample area to mount the ESC's and keeping them cool because they act as a heat sink as well and the biggest thing the brushless gimbal nose mounted simple BGC open source so you can easily tweak it at home using your uh, downloaded programs from the simple BCG or BGC so I actually when I received it it was shaking and palpitating and saying I will not work but after I tweaked it with simple BGC it's now working perfectly so yes brushless nose mounted gimbal is gonna give you the perfect stabilized images And then you have plenty of space to mount your video transmitter today we are testing the 500 milliwatts uh, 32 channel new video transmitter from fpvstyle.com which uh, actually FPV style is not manufacturing them but it's available at fpvstyle.com so uh, we will also see how far we can go with this 500 milliwatt video transmitter so I have set up Super X and OSD and everything with my Futaba 14 SG that has a 4 kilometer range I wish it will give me good flight times and I can go really far but today we are concerned about flight performance not the flight times and I have set up my LCD uh, diversity receiver 32 channel with built-in DVR so we can actually record our OSD and everything that is the images the live transmission coming from here and later once everything is okay I will go ahead and fly with the goggles all right enough talking so let me start with uh, pre-flight setup of Super X and give this baby a flight With 12 inch propellers, she is flying perfectly. Put the camera a little pointing downward, and here we go. This is the GPS speed, of course. I'm putting in altitude hold or attitude whoa now she is fast Woo! very fast I'm gonna enjoy some 
going to the bridge flights. Superb flying machine. I wasn't getting good flight uh, response with the, uh, because my batteries are old as well. So wasn't getting good response with 11 inch propellers, but with 12 inch, they are simply awesome. Camera tilt to the ground is superb. I can still set more tilt angle from the simple BCG. All right, so land and set up and fly FPV. So these were the first flights. I'm sure I have to do a lot of tweaking, a lot of testing on this frame. So far, this frame is really, really nice. Uh, plenty of space to mount everything. And of course, the brushless gimbal and stuff like that. Uh, my ESCs and motors are cool. I mean, they are just warm, okay? So what I'm gonna do next is try 800 kV motors on this one and see uh, with 11 inch propeller how smooth and how much more speed I will get out of it. So uh, we will give it one speed run and see what the fastest speed is doing. You can see my battery is really swollen. <laughs> I need to get some new battery. So let me see the fastest passes on this one. Hold on. Thank you.